it's the time to get down. I'll take that. Yeah, be cool, be cool. Yeah, well, that's alright. It's time to get up and get live and get lifted. You know, we start the show off with a stretch. So come on. Get your arms ready. Get your legs ready. It's time to do that thing. It's time for morning coffee. Are you ready, Vic? Yeah, I'm, I'm all got, you know, yeah. I got my uh, ointment. I'm all set. I have my um, medication. I'm kind of confused right now, but that's okay. I'm, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Woosa. 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 Hey man, I, I have to tell you something, man. You represented with that LA Dodgers shirt. How come you're not sharing the wealth? That's because I'm not trying to represent the LA Dodgers. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I bet you you wear that before you wear that Boston Red Sox jersey. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Some things you just can't do. Hey man, let me tell you what's going on. Welcome to Morning Coffee. It's our Tuesday. Tuesday's the double banger, and do not take that literally. Take it figuratively. What we are doing today. And new new sports, you know, I'm going to bring it to you this way. It's very simple. Should a security or police officer get involved in a major league baseball game? Well, you know what? I think somebody has called somebody out. We'll get into that later. Also, can you turn around and say that the Dodgers have breathed some life in their system? Because Yasiel Puig did his things, and now there's some rebellion because he celebrates too hard. And hot picks, if you ever win. <laughs> <laughs> this can't win. He can't. I mean, you know what? We already know what their support is going to be. Stop the madness. But in the meantime, hot picks. The hottest, top hottest, part one. Instagram photos, ranking five through ten today, one through five tomorrow, or five through six through ten, man. one through five. Back to back, Mario. Now, what about you, man? Man, I'm telling you, it's still all about that government shutdown, everybody. People talking about how they're being affected because the little man is being affected. Tomorrow, we'll be talking on Conspiracy Wednesday, just what it's all all about mm. why do the people who talking about it seem to look so comfortable in their twelve hundred dollar suits oh what are you trying to say man just saying hey <laughs> looks like they pretty damn comfortable the government shutdown ain't affecting their check so we're gonna talk all about that it's gonna be a crazy day in the neighborhood i got some crazy videos for you yes sir funny crazy stuff mm. so i'm gonna try to make you laugh it's time for morning coffee and we're back week one of the fall season 2013, we got stuff coming. More music. Yes, sir. And more performances. Hey, man, you know what I have to say, man? That big screen looks big time behind your big behind. <laughs> hey, $450 for a 46 inch. Dude. Less to do what we came to do. Man, if I can get me a 46, I'll be okay. It's hard to get Come a on. Come on, be cool. <laughs> Do it. That, you know, actually, you guys, that whole thing with TVs, and even though money is tight. It is tight, bro. One of the things that's it's a tight. pleasant surprise is that the cost of certain technology is cheaper. <laughs> One of the things that's cheaper is televisions. Yeah. You know, and uh, what's so interesting is that when you buy a TV, nowadays they come with HDMI ports and VGA ports so you actually can hook them to your computer in two different ways I suggest the HDMI right but a Mac McAllister our GNM bureau chief does not even own a tele well <laughs> let's watch this he says he doesn't own a TV right he watches Hulu regularly which everybody who knows Hulu it's all Hulu is all the TV shows that's right. what that's what Hulu is on demand it's all the TV shows from around the world yeah now imagine if Mac connected his la his computer to one of these. Oh, oh, that'd be tight. See what I'm saying? So you say you know watch TV. I tell people you get a big TV. Right. And I always search for what's on sale. Right now you can get a 46 inch TV for around 450. Okay. Uh, 32 inch TVs are now going around 200 bucks. That's good. So man. keep that in mind because we tell you hook it up to the television. Welcome everybody to the Quiet Storm. It is what? Tuesday. What? what? The qu Ooh. <laughs> You see what's happening, you guys? You got, okay, let me tell you, that's the announcement coming up. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Welcome to Morning Coffee. It's Tuesday, October 15th. Every week we have a weekly quotation. This week is no different. This week we're quoting once again Mark Twain, Samuel Clemens, one of my personal favorites. And I quote, patriotism is supporting your country all the time and the government when it deserves it. Okay, that's tight. <laughs> I like that. Thank man. you, Mark Twain. Yeah. Thank you, Mark Twain. Very good. Yeah, you guys. Um, listen, we might. It looks like we're going to have to cancel yeah. tonight's quiet storm. 
Yeah. People say, oh my God, no. Believe me, that's why we're all in a tizzle trying to get stuff worked out. As it turns out, to, for many of you know, today, uh, October 15th, is yeah. a day that a lot of tax papers have to be in. And so I got a late night call um, from my accountant about some things that we need to do. And it turns out I have to be there tonight at 9 o'clock. Wow. And he could, and, and there's no other spots because it's the last minute. It's the last minute. Things have to be done by the midnight. Apologies, so, man. So, so I have to, man. So I'm sorry, everybody. We've been working on it since last night. We found yeah. out late, last night. Yeah. We've been working on it, but we can't get it. We can't get the other slot. We can't get it worked out. It's too much to ask Vic and Miko to run that. Yeah, in the sense that it has to be run with the software that even if I have to sit with it the rest of the day and really get used to it by going live myself without cameras so I can get familiar with it and there's all these other things that tasks it's not have worth to do. it it's not worth it it's not worth it I mean I like it too I'm, I mean, I'm visually we're, I'm going to be doing it because we always double up on our systems so I know that it's just caught us off guard today now what we may do and we're working on it now is try to decide if we're going to plan some special programming because I can do that see I can pre-program a show right for the quiet storm with pre-programmed music yeah. and you guys can get in the chat room right if you guys want to do that i can do that that means all you have to do is our, our regular folks like pmc mac miko if i got five or six selections from each person yeah i could program the whole two hours and then you guys can just get in the chat room and Vic can turn up the mic if he wants. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a way to do it. It may not serve to the, the part where we have a special guest coming because that's the other angle. Right. The live entertainment. Um, that's the unfortunate part. And we've had a bunch, so we, we're having to change it up because we're expecting tonight Lena Loy. That's right. And so we're going to have to change that up today. So sorry about that, you guys, but I we have no choice when it comes to dealing with uh, yeah. the feds. And, you know, the whole shutdown thing is affecting everything, it including should. the FM license. It's like a rollback, man. I mean, everybody downwind. Now, you know, one thing that has been affected, that all of a sudden they're going, uh, I wonder how they're going cheaper on gas now. 22 cents on average, lower than it's ever been. Well, gas is cheaper. Gas is so cheaper. So now you have, it's cheaper to get there, you say you got no money when you get there. <laughs> You know, you guys, and I'm, I'm, I feel so bad about it. You know what I really feel bad? It shows you how much you get into the show. You know it's still messing with me, the yeah, one I canceling know. tonight's show? We went through it. It's I still see messing it. with my head, you guys. I had, I was ready. <laughs> Man, it. and you know, when you, and it's like when, when Alan speaks, it's like, you need to come see me. Yeah, he's, he's no joke. What time can I come? All I have is 9 o'clock because you waited till the last minute. You wait to the last minute. You always wait to the last minute. I always wait to the last minute. Right. But my accountant loves me like a brother. So he takes care of me like family. Oh, no. He, he calls he, me up yeah. and goes, what are you doing? <laughs> right. He are you just going to mess up? Or are you going to get your ass over here in my office? I don't know what you're doing. You're not concerned? You're not concerned it is a five-hour deadline? It's going to cost you money, goddammit. Get your ass in my office. Oh, man. See, see. You just cooperate. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is why, that's my that, accountant. That's yeah. why I love him like a brother. He's the only one can talk to you like that. That's right. He, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you doing? Were you going to call me? Were you going to call me? <laughs> I know. Wow. <laughs> so, you guys, I, I am sorry. So, um... Hey, we're, we're working this stuff out. Hey, look, you know, the one thing we, we are able to do, you never know, we may surprise you down the road or do something where we pop up and do a special broadcast. We just hate that. When we're coordinating it with uh, artists who are really working around their schedules and they're taking the time and consideration, that's where we really feel the pull because they're doing what they can. And the part I like about it is everybody's working with the best that they have and, and going out their way and that's what we appreciate the people that's working with us here at Pack Stereo. Well, that's among, now let me tell you something else. There's a ton of new video things that we're trying to coordinate. First, Mac, you gotta go check out onlinewithmac.neem.com Mac has got his whole you know, videos that he's bringing. He's doing a lot of different productions. We're working with him on getting uh, the stuff out there and looking back because there's all these opportunities I told you remember I got your back there's all these new opportunities for short form video so I want to make sure Mac is involved in really all the outlets also Mac well, you know I've had to I'm just behind on your player I looked at the software I have to install a different player 
Big Contact, which is the player for Mac software, we, they've been unreachable for now about five, four or five days, and the site's down, so we don't know what's going on. This was a site that we use for making players, right? and that's why the Mac McAllister player is not the same. Even though when you go there, it will play. Right. But I, put a, I did a temporary fix for him. So you can go and take a look at that. But these are all the things that we're working on. Well, I mean, I'm going to give you props on something here, man, but because the, the system is starting to purr a little bit. When I say it purr, it has that gleam that's it's getting there. That it's getting there. And you only have <laughs> you have one dangling participle. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you got one. You guys, I, you got one. I hate the what? What is it? Which one? Green screen can't go to your can't, Yeah, you can't show them. Show them what's wrong. I'm telling you, I, I, we don't, it's a ghost in the son of a gun. Can't figure it out. It goes green. Now, yesterday it, it only does it. Right. It only does it when we're showing the desktop. That's right. But you figured it out it's yesterday. New, no, I didn't. It you just didn't? stopped doing it. Wow. So it's quirky. It has something to do with. It. So anyway, like yeah, we are doing multiple upgrades. But you guys don't realize my buddy over there works three switchers live on the air. And text. he's got six cameras and a desktop. He's texting and he's a live on air personality. Telling them all. So he multitasks, but believe it or not. I do all the web work and all the technical, the That's whole right. studio, all the studio maintenance, all the computer maintenance with our 12 computers, yeah. all the studio maintenance. And so I've been doing upgrades, you guys. Mm -hmm. it, no, it, it, and uh, to get new stuff in here. That's why you may notice, like I said, we got the TV, a little lighting. And right. stuff. So Yeah, and, and I went through a great lesson today. Ran up to uh, the front house, Mario's chilling. You know, he actually just had his little shorty leave the room. <laughs> so I said, Mario, I can't. The playlist, man. The, playlist. the cat left. The cat left the room. <laughs> the playlist. The playlist, man. I can't see it on the screen, man. What's up? He said, "You just have to go click your desktop." I said, "Now nah, I'm gonna run back and tell everybody on the show. We're supposed to be famous for using desktop. He knows he's doing it. I come back and go. I am the example that I have to share with the world that Victor, you actually didn't click your desktop. Isn't that how you work this whole damn system? Yeah." You know, I don't say anything because I think that it's so difficult already, you know, doing what what we do. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, it's okay, Vic. It's uh, one of those days. It's just when he asked me and I so calmly go, oh yeah, oh, yeah you need to hit the desktop button. Because, you know, you're supposed to be able to say what's the most common causes. When someone gives you a typical problem that occurs, you're supposed to be in my world, you should be able to say off the top of your head. Right. The top three causes. Maybe the top five. Yeah. Like in medicine. Mm -hmm. Patient has cough, you're supposed to be able to say the top mm -hmm. causes of that. Mm -hmm. So and then you look for those first. So but my buddy over there he does all that stuff. You know, you guys Vic is out here earliest before the show. Oh man. To get those things. Ooh, Lord have mercy to follow behind the trail. I got nervous because uh, the, the booth system computer, the playlist, stage plays, the computer was just went off, just cut off. <laughs> first thing I start doing, first thing they say is, just go turn it back on, right? I sit there and look at it, staring at it, waiting for an explanation. <laughs> so, you know, I love the system, but man, it's its own mind. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to get back. We got the good news, the bad news. We got hot picks. We got new sports. And we're going to get right back to those, and we're going to come back and get into that. But first, Vic, uh, what about tomorrow? We have a special guest. Yes, we do. We actually have a probably one of the most famous gentlemen, a former NBA player. He just retired. He ended his stint with the Lakers, Joe Smith. But he will not go by that name anymore because he's Joe Beast. And Joe Beast will be in here as a rapper to share with us his transformation into being a producer. So we're gonna rapper. have a we're gonna have a producer, we have an NBA former former NBA player. The tallest rapper on the planet. Rapper. Right. With his partner, Kiss, a very nice looking partner. <laughs> That's all I can say. If her name is Kiss, she better be nice. Yeah, Kiss will be here as well. You can't so. be somebody you don't want to kiss. <laughs> if it's Kiss, you gotta be kissable. So just be prepared for this. This is special. I, I like it because I've listened to his stuff. And I can say this much. He's, he's there. He, he, has, he has enough of it not to be going, okay, you know, stay with basketball. So he's doing it. Now, whether you can hit it, hit it, cross over, because he's, he's still not what they call, he's young, way younger than I. I hope so. <laughs> way younger Shit. than I. We older than dirt. <laughs> 
The only thing older than us is Mac McAllister. I refute that statement. <laughs> I, re- I refute that, man. You know, we poop dust. Oh, I don't, you know what? I'm, okay, aren't we like going a little extra on this one? I mean, aren't we supposed to encourage women to come to the show? They're not going to come here. They're going to say it's too male. They're gonna be, they, they got dusty poots over there. Oh, Lord. I'm, I'm not coming. Okay. Hey, Vic. Yeah. We had a wonderful indie, Crystal Star here at the studio as guests came up kind of because of Lena Lloyd she had to cancel right wonderful thank you Lena sent her associate Crystal Star that ended up being wonderful for us everybody loved her Mac, PMC they all loved her right and then you went out when she was here she invited you out right to come see a live performance yep. you went out to see the live performance yes I did tell us about that because I'm about to show payback you think you, you think it'll show okay oh that's <laughs> See, wait, wait. I was trying to give, trying to give you a warning. See, this is the part. I love. We needed two days, you guys, to go through the system. Let's see. Let's you see what happens. See. You switch to it. You want to see how it looks? Green, green. There you go. Too green, man. Go right. back to it. Let's watch it. <laughs> Here's Crystal Star. This is terrible. In green.
Yeah, Crystal Star, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Even in green, Vic. <laughs> you know what? In green. Even because I felt I was going to play some music anyway. Right. So even in green, that was happening. Yeah. Let's uh -huh. get, let me worry that. Let me give her a little more. Just give her a little applause. Yeah. Nice to lay there. Well, you know. <laughs> better than. Not that much better than nothing. And part I like about it is that she, um, she doesn't let her, I mean, being on American Idol days and all that doesn't get in the way. She stays focused. She goes, hey, I'm not trying to pump all that up. I'm trying to just be my own thing. And then seeing her stage performance stuff, that she's, she's really more entertaining. Well, I'd like to know more about that because I have a Jones for her. You ever, you, every now and then you meet a woman that makes you wish you were younger. <laughs> That's a lot of women. Yeah, uh, well, it used to be that way till I got older. But man, Crystal Star is one. Ooh, I would be on that like white on rice. Yep, That's right. That's, that's why she's staying over in the other. That's why home. she stays. That's right. Mario would be on me like white on rice. All right, you guys. It's time for to get ready. To, well, blah, blah, blah. it's time for the news, and you know what that means. No, you don't. Want, I'm not gonna show green. I'm not going to show it. Oh, that's right. I'm not going to show it. I refuse. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the good news. And the bad news. And the other shit. El Ocho Caca. El Ocho Caca. <laughs> I have no idea what you said. I wanted to say, see, the other shit in Spanish would be hmm. El Ocho Caca. I, un I understand your dilemma. You know, when you meet people who speak Spanish, you want to impress them with your use of expletives. <laughs> you know what? Jeez. There's no expletives. All right, you guys. You know, the whole thing, they still talk about this government shutdown. And we talk, we've been talking about some of the people that have been affected, government workers. And it's getting, you know, on. it's going on and on. And they're teasing you. You know, what's amazing to me is that it seems to be. A contest to see who's going to look the bad. And the, fun, the funny thing is they're willing to play. Right. They're willing to play. So right now, overwhelmingly, people are actually seem to be blaming right, the, the Republicans, the GOP. And they're being held more responsible. Even though if you, uh, I think if you poll people, 75% of people are disgusted, want to fire both, yeah. both parties. Yeah. So, but that's the other thing going on. But just as that's going on, uh, came an article. And I wanted to show you guys this one because I thought it was pertinent. I missed this yesterday. You know, because, you know, just when you see how your money's going, here's an article for the 10 people that you're not tipping enough. <laughs> oh, you know, uh, that's right. 10 people you're not tipping enough. Okay. And let me start the controversy here because I know we have, I, I personally, you, now before I, Get into this. I want you to know. I, oh, don't, 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 I, don't. I, I, love, I love black women. I knew it. You I mean, love black women. We're not going to get more fans. I come from a black woman. I have a black, black woman mother. Fans. I can see it now. Now, but I just want you to know that when you go out and poll waitresses, black women waitresses tell you that the worst tippers in the world are single black women. Okay, I've been told that. Now, again, can I get some responses in the... I want you to know, I've been told this. Go out and ask you guys. Go ask folks. But I've been told this by black waitresses over and over again. Yeah. That the worst tippers in the world yeah. are single black women. But now here comes an article. Even though I know you're tired, your money gone. <laughs> your money gone. These are the ten people that you're not tipping enough. Okay? All right. Uh... That's right. See, 87% of people say they know they're supposed to leave a gratuity in restaurants. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right? They just don't really do it. So, okay, here's the ones. And I'll give them to you from 10 down. The top 10. Tour guides. That's right. Even though you paid for your tour, it's still customary to tip the tour guide. Mac, we tipped the tour guide. We did the tour. Hotel housekeeping. That's right. That's right. Usually one to two dollars per day per person staying in your room. That's number nine. Wow. Of the people that you don't tip enough. Number eight, airport transportation staff. That's right. When you get transported by the airport by someone, whether they're in an electric cart or pushing a wheelchair, you're supposed to tip them one to three dollars. Did you know that? Yeah. Mac? <laughs> well, he's, he's going to bring Max, it here. I ain't right. <laughs> okay. Non-medical staff in an assisted living facility. While you don't tip doctors, nurses, physical therapists who take care of your loved ones, you should tip the other people who work there. 
So that means that people who drive Nana to the grocery store, all them, you should tip. So number seven is non-medical staff hmm. and assisted <coughs> living facility. Okay? Okay. Number six, gym staff. Now let me let me qualify this. While you don't need to tip your personal trainer, they say, they say a simple holiday gift would be fine. They say you may want to tip the other helpful staff, like the people who are out there bringing you towels, water, that kind of thing. Okay, because usually these are the people you notice are making less money. Okay, five, courtesy shuttle drivers. That's right, the ones who give you, you know, we tipped, we tipped them. Oh, yeah. We oh, did, yeah. we did, you know, not every day. We had the same ones same every day. Yeah, we tipped them often. The right. Yeah. In Austin. In know. Austin. Yeah. Okay, yeah. DJ or band. Yes, you should always tip. Now, they tell me you should tip a DJ for requests. Well, I like that. Right. Maybe I should send us some PayPal. Hey, Mac, let's get some PayPal for the request. Because this, this, I didn't even see this. They said that you should extend, they recommend $5 to a DJ for one song and $10 for a short list of song requests or $10 to a band for one song and $20 to a band. So we can have a DJ PayPal. That's, yeah. Hey, you guys, you know what? We got to try a pay-per-view anyway, so remember that. We got to try one you stream. Okay, so that's number four. Number three, pool attendants and other hotel staff. That's right. You know you're supposed to tip the valet and bellman, but how about the other people? One is the pool attendant. That's two. I don't know about that one. <laughs> they said if he does anything extra like setting up a table. Yeah, if he does something for you, but just not for sitting up there and attending the pool. Shit. I'm sorry. I can't, cool. No, I mean you got to do something. Like if he brings me some inflatable toys or a blow up date, oh. then 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 it will be all right. Oh, that's not good. Huh? That's not good at all. I'm, I, I, you I guys think, don't like the blow up date? I, I think I have what's going to top all your number, even your number one. Just keep going. All right. Number two, the hotel concierge. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I always tip if I do a complicated request. Right. And number one. On the list of the top ten workers, you probably do not tip, but should tip. Number one, your hairstylist assistant. Ta da! Very good. Very good. Yeah. Ta da! You're kind of late. Um, you're really late. All right, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. We can go to commercial. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have my stuff set up. Oh, I don't even have it plugged up. <laughs> you don't have it plugged up. I have one that I think may rate. Oh, what a day! May rate in a way that we never consider. We don't. I prostitute besides no, therapists. No, no. You, you, you oh. think? You think? How come we don't tip broke people? I get. Can we do? I give them all kinds of advice. <laughs> Put a helmet on that soldier. I think tipping broke people. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you know, we know plenty. You know, see, who needs it more? And I have a jar here. Um, I'm going to find a way so you guys can kind of synchronize how you want to tip a broke person. And um, I have a jar. You got a jar? I have a jar for myself. Now, we're not going to pee in that. No, no. That's for your tips. No, it's for my tips, man. Because I believe if you braided everybody, everybody's working. Tip. And a broke person has no income, should get tips first. Well, that's what. Applause. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Well, I just want y'all to know. Yeah. I know you I know these are the kind of things I know you care about. I know you care about it. Yeah, well, you're worried about the people that you haven't tipped. Yeah. I know PMC up late oh. at night. Yeah. In Pittsburgh, sometimes it's by the candlelight. He's sitting up writing songs about people he needs to tip. Yeah. He, reward. He, he actually endorses the <laughs> DJ Tim. He said, "Yes, Lord." That ties in. <laughs> To that, that thing. Imagine if you know, hey, see, now see, okay, okay, let me challenge, okay. DJ tip, I'm, before I move to Mother's Day. So I'm going to challenge my DJs everywhere. See, if y'all would get on the ball, y'all could DJ shows tonight. See, I know how to transfer the show to PMC and Mac. Mm-hmm. See, come on, so everybody write in to PMC and Mac and tell them they should be prepared. <laughs> the DJ Max is shit. But y'all should be able to be prepared to run the show. I'm telling you, I can tie you guys in from where you are. You know that clock's wrong. And it's obnoxious clock. Yes, it I is. was trying to say Yes. It. Yes. Yeah, I, so I, I was unpacking it. Dude. One of our, we, we had new toys. We have a talking clock. Because we're about to get bobbleheads. 
Well, bobble, see, I, can't you don't you think Vic would make a good bobblehead? You know, I mean, I'm I'm just saying. That, <laughs> I'm not saying anything, dude. Just, just, I'm not saying anything. All right, all right. Let's do, go down that pathway is over. All right, let me do this story because this story I didn't really get a chance to review some of the things because of the technical issues, but this is a story I was kind of you know kind of you know how cartoon puppets can sometimes cause people to comment. Well, in Israel, they have an issue because they have a pair of puppets that are now being used as part of the gay rights debate. That's right. In Israel, they have a big gay rights debate about being able to be married. The same thing that's going on here. Right. And so they have some puppets that have been pretty popular in Israel. Well, the puppets are named, they're male puppets. One is named Plug and one's named Socket. <laughs> you know what? Plug and Socket. This is wrong. That is, you guys, Plug and Socket. Plug and Socket. Um, and they appeared in the, now for years, Israelis have been playfully questioning because of the way they talk and stuff. And take a look at the puppets, even in green. In green? You want to show Yeah, show sure, Just go on do it, because then, you know, it's better than nothing. All right. So they, so here's the puppet, see? <laughs> now, they've been questioning for years, just the puppet's sexual orientation. Just like, remember one of the, we had the, these, these uh, cartoon characters here that were called out for being gay. And so now they have, this is becoming a big deal in Israel. Uh... Max said, how about ACDC? <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, you know what? Let's see if we can find something on this. You know, what, why? Uh, I can think of a lot of subjects we could talk about. Because I think, because we, we, first of all, we very we stay on top of gay issues here. We do. Now, here's one. Here, here, oh, here's one. Just take a look at them. Just take a look at this. This is the puppet. What is he doing? Gotta use a better lubricant. That's right. So these are I want you to know. What is that about? This is the news, y'all. This is, this is right now. Everybody. Right now, that's 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 a, that's that's a minute of your life you'll never get back. I never <laughs> and never want back. I'm trying to understand what was the okay. So I just want you to know it's part of the gay right because we stay on top of gay issues and issues of money, and uh, so I want y'all to know that that that's what's happening in Israel. The puppets, the puppets. I, I'm no comment. All right. I know, but question mark. That's right, Mac. I did the same thing. Question marks. We're trying to figure it out. Gay puppets. I don't understand what's so confusing. <laughs> what is so confusing? You, the puppet's gay, even though they're anatomically incorrect any damn way. So it doesn't make any difference what they are because they have nothing to work with. <laughs> well, so, it's some sad, sad for puppets. I, 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 you, never, you never realized puppets had it that bad. All right. Mm. In the, now, in the world of interactivity, here's a story I thought you might want to know. Stan Lee, famed Marvel creator, you know, the man who created all those things you're used to, Daredevil, Iron Man, Captain America, the, the, you know, Fantastic Four. Mm -hmm. He's got a new series coming up. He's designing the new soup, soup, some new superheroes, but guess what? He's interacting, Victor, with social media to get people out in the public to write the stories. Very good. So the public's getting to write the story. See, how it's just like our quiet storm, which we'll be missing tonight, because Mac and PMC can't co-host from wherever they are. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, because, but, but see, it's like the interactivity we have. Stan Lee is going to get people to write the, mo the stories for the new superheroes. I think that's excellent. Yeah, that's very what good. What a deal. Yeah, that's very good. Uh -huh. All right. Now, w the way they're doing it is that He's doing it for a software platform called Plotagon that allows users to create animated movies. Now, remember I told you yesterday, too, that Amazon.com is, is already announced they're going into carrying short-form video and promoting short-form video coming. So that would be Max Videos, too, right? And other things would be at Amazon and other outlets. That's why I'm gearing my, trying to get my people geared up for all those things, too. 
because I want them to be taken advantage of all those two. But that's so 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 that's a good one. All right, now, okay, so it was a rough day. It's a rough day. I know it is. It's a rough day. You ever you know get hungry like? The other day I wanted some grits and eggs. I went in there and it was like one egg. That's right. <laughs> it was like one egg. I was that's like, it. damn. Hey, yeah, that's right. You it know, it's like you go to the... Free range you got, You know, and you know there's no Vaseline left. Just that little... You have to slide your finger all around the container you, just to try to get a little Vaseline. You, you... And here you are trying to get the porn hubs. You can get some sleep. Yeah, I see and, that you're and, and you can't even... Yeah. I'm just telling you, some days work like that, okay? Well, you better talk about women that are interested in you. <laughs> oh, come on, man, Vaseline. You know, if you, you're sending a message through people. It says, so why are you... Okay, I oh. agree. With, they're not supposed to use hydrocarbon products. There and people go. are saying you should use more, right. more natural lubricants. That's right. Sometimes the good old-fashioned. Yes. Well, I want to show you guys some videos that's now going to make you feel better, okay? First of all, here's one. Oh, Vic, I can't show you. <laughs> Keep telling you, man. Uh, we we'll just pretend we can. <laughs> I'm trying to do pretend it. we can. They're not going to see the details. All right, here's the luckiest touchdown you'll ever see. You see how well it comes across. That's not bad. <laughs> Did you see that? Okay. Well, we liked it. <laughs> That's you. Yeah, we can't show desktops. Nope. Okay, let me tell you what. I'm going to try to switch the desktop. I know. That's the easiest part. I'm going to try to switch the desktop. But they'll do a musical break, man. Oh, no, they don't. That's all you have to do. Because the music, we got the music now. How's that? That's good. You see anything on the green? Yeah, I see uh, green and pink. It's the same. (laughs) Yeah, you've been touched. By the Rainbow Coalition, man. That's jacked up. Yeah. All right. Well, I can't. Well, okay. Let me see. Well, I was going to show you these other wonderful videos. Like I have this wonderful video of a kitty cat in a stroke, like a mobility machine, because the kitty cat's lost the use of his le- legs, hind legs. So someone built him this machine. So let's see. Okay. Let's see if that one will show. If you just get the poor little kitty cat, poor little kitty cat, just trying to get by. Somebody made the kitty cat. Which, it, which one is the cat? It's this wonderful commercial. <laughs> you guys, you know, I fried my phone last week before the show. And that phone, replacing that damn phone. Oh, you, you, but you got the upgrade, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a better phone though, man. Still, it's like it shows you there's a certain amount of elitism implied in today's world if you can't get a damn phone. And the phones are expensive. So now it becomes a classism item if you are have or have not when That's it right. comes to the damn phone. Same way you felt about women back in the day. Classism right there. It was. You wanted the good stuff. But look, here's a cat. You can see this. Someone took a PVC pipe and made a little PVC pipe. You can see the light bulb moment that he knew he was going to be like other little ones out there. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, very unique. Out of PVC pipe. Amazing. All right, I wanted you to feel good. That was good. Just a light, you know, especially with animals, man. All right, so yeah, that's Thumper. Now he has a PVC pipe stroller. Yard for over a year. Thank you, Thumper. Thank you, Thumper. We are we are going to be involved in the good old Thumper, the uh, the uh, Iron no not Iron Man Green Hornet Part Two. We're gonna we're gonna be the lead on that. Horny Green Hornies, <laughs> Green Horny. It's so, all about. So you know. I don't know why I'm gonna be doing high picks. <laughs> you this whole see you ever you have days just to say shit. shit see, Mac, you know what? <laughs> Mac McAllister, G and M bureau chief, started off his show cursing. He started off his show. I know. Just Damn. cussing. I know. He's like you ever had those? Okay, so we got all this stuff to think, and because the screen is messed up, I can only talk about sports, but I can't get past high picks. Can't do it. Just no way, man. You're not going to destroy what I have set up. And they're looking at green. They'll never get it. 
I'm sorry. They can't do high picks with no screen. Not not with the green. You're not going to so see. That's high picks done. That's what happens when that green comes in. See, you can get away with some other things, but not on high. You know what? I'm and I got to go to the tax man. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. This is shit. Yeah, this no, no quiet storm. Uh, nope. All okay. because. All because. All because I because what? <laughs> I've been a good boy. Actually, we can't complain because things are so going so good around here. Right. We can't we can't complain. No, no. I I get to sit back and just relax because, I you know I now I have a, a, a my show set up for tomorrow. Of course, that's only if we decide to do a displayed show. We have a guest. We'll just warn them they'll be in green. That's jacked up. So you want me so so I could besides having to go to the tax man at nine o'clock tonight. Yep. Probably be there till damn near midnight or yes, some stuff. You will be there. Now y'all want me to fix But the show tomorrow will be self serving. Why? Fix but, this. Because you don't have to do anything special. Matter of fact, you should forego it and let it be focused on them so you don't have to get caught up in any extra research and extra I'm stuff. gonna attempt to run you the stuff directly. I hear you. you. You do what you do, man, because... Right on, baby. Oh, the big right. right on. Sad day in yeah. Mudville. <laughs> Last night I had $35 in my pocket. Did you open my pocket? Right on, right on. That's what I thought happened. <laughs> This is terrible Tuesday, guys. That's all I can say. I want to ask you another question, baby. <laughs> My car. You bought a car, baby. Let's see. You bought a car. We're going to put these people to sleep. With the light yeah. hanging out and the wheel falling off. Yes, yes, yes. Right on. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you know, man. Right on. I don't have to do any work for the rest of the day. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? What? And you didn't tell me. He wanted us to can. Yes, 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 I'm going to put on some, you know, I, we can put on some Richard Pryor video. Just left it in the Yeah, because you're going to do it through the DVD feed, right? Yeah, you can do that for us. Because why, then we might as well just say hell with it. That's right. And then we can have some fun. We can show y'all some fun stuff. Well, we got to show you something. We have to win a time slot. to you, dog. Yes. $35 missing out of my pocket. Car hanging all on the side. But I love it. And I always love it. Yeah. No matter what happened, baby. You want another question, baby? The checking account. Is it, is it overdrawn? Is it overdrawn, baby? Is it overdrawn, baby? Right on. It's all part of the shutdown. That's why our stuff's not working. No desktop. To do anything. Ain't show no video. Like blank checks right on. <laughs> it's overdrawn, ain't it, baby? It's overdrawn. Right on, right on for overdrawn. I gotta get this audio up. Right. That's what I'm saying. Stay tuned, you guys. Special presentation. That's right, we're about to show you something special. With my pajamas on. We just call him RP. RP. That's right. RP. RP3. Don't say that, darling. That's right. Back to back. Because if it is, darling, I got to leave. We got Cosby and Pryor back to back. I got to leave, baby. Right on. Right on for the leaving. Yeah. But I still love you, darling. This is wrong. Take a look at that. See, show it to me. Say, come on and get the people out of the closet and put the money back in the house.